Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing my next update for my 9pan19. 9 if you want to catch up on the previous updates, I've done one about once a month up until now, I'll throw that playlist up into the cards, but this is a year-long project pan where I'm trying to totally use up nine pans of product. Six of those pans are in a contour palette, and three are blushes. So let's start with the one that I'm still struggling with, the blushes. So since the last update, I did depot this. I think I showed a picture in the last update. So I do have this depotted in my Everyday Z palette and I do pop out a few of the pal or the few of the pans from the contour palette and I keep those over here. So this really is like an all-in-one face palette for me, which is really helpful when I'm in a rush or just getting ready in the morning. But I still don't have a lot of progress on the blushes. I do want to do more full face looks of this, use it uh, as eyeshadow, use them a little bit differently. I actually saw a music video where the singer had like a blush heavy look that looked gorgeous and I really want to recreate it. So I'm thinking that'll be a future video because I loved how it looked in that music video and I love the song too. But sidetrack, um, still not that much progress. So here are the three blush pans. I've really been focusing on this light blush right here just to see if I can make any progress on it, but not really. So I'm still working on it. Uh, Yeah, blush is blush. It's gonna be probably one of the hardest things I'll ever pan. I've hit pan on just about everything else other than a blush. So, still working on it. Um, I really think these are great shades that I picked out because I can use them year round, uh, especially when it comes into like summer and spring. So, uh, I I am I wouldn't. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't just a little discouraged, but I'm still working on them. I'm wearing these blushes every day. I'm trying them with different brushes to see if that makes a difference. I really like using a dual fiber stippling brush. I think that makes it look a little bit more natural, a little bit more like a flush than, uh, oh, I'm putting blush on, right? And I really, at this point, I'm putting blush just like on the apples of my cheeks and just like a little bit on my forehead because I have been pulling my hair back a lot more. <laughs> Funny story, I cut my own hair a bit ago and I like the way this turned out because it got so flat but I tried cutting like this part <laughs> and it, it didn't turn out as great so I've been pulling my hair back just until it grows out but the good news is that my hair grows really fast so it'll be growing out before I know it and then I'll go and get like an actual haircut. I was being cheap. I didn't want to spend another $90 on a haircut. Anyway, so that's how I've been using the blush and uh I don't know, hopefully we'll start seeing some progress on it soon. Alright, moving on to the contour palette. This is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. And here's where I'm at now. I'm still working on the bronzer right here. Most of this part is gone. I'm debating whether or not I want to repress it. I definitely need to repress this. So this is the light shade right here. It's mostly gone, but it's getting hard to really get the product on the outside right there. I've started digging into the yellow shade, not as much though, and I still haven't touched this... Yeah, I still haven't touched this shade right here because it's very similar to this shade, so I really wanted to use this one up completely before I moved on to this one as my everyday bronzer. I think repressing those two shades will really help me finish them up because now it's gotten to the point where they're just like rings around the pan and it's getting a little bit difficult to pick product up onto my brush to actually use every day. But I'm, I'm seeing progress. Like, at the end of the day, this is awesome progress, so I'm really hoping that if I can repress these shades like this week, that by the end of May, this one will definitely be gone. And I really want to see most of this gone. I want to see like the majority of that gone and to start bringing in this shade more. Because that was my goal. My goal was to use this one within the first six months and then to move on to this one. Because these two I can both use as bronzers, whereas this one I can really only use as a contour. Because it's so dark. But yeah, I feel like this is actually a really good spot to be at right now. I definitely need to repress those shades. So I'm going to probably pop them back out of this, repress both of them, and then keep them in my Everyday Z palette because that's just an easier way for me to reach for them every day. And I think I'm going to pop out this one and just put it in my Z palette just so I can start working with it a little bit as I finish up this one. So that's my update for my 9pan19. 9 Let me know if you're doing a year-long project pan and how your progress is going because our next update, it's going to be the halfway point. I can't believe it. Like, oh my god. I feel like this year is both... I feel like this year is going by really fast, but that each week is like 
excruciatingly long, which makes like no sense, but that's how I'm experiencing this year. <laughs> if anyone has experienced anything similar, please let me know. Time is weird. Thank you guys for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.